Yeah, I'm going to ready to call. Yeah, man, I'm going to skip about five seconds. All right. Four. Three. No. <laughs> okay. We are out of executive session at 10, 11 a.m. Uh, first order of business here. Is, any adjustments, uh, Commissioner nope. Thomas? First order of business is the Justice Center. Uh, I think everybody is up to date with that from last week as we're going to make it. Uh, we're still anticipating Lady and Justice and the quick will to arrive sometime late January. We look forward to that event. I think the, I know the second floor is pretty much all done. The third floor is three quarters of the way done. They're up on the fourth floor and on the interior. So. I know, Your Honor, have you been over there lately looking at touring? Not today. Not today. What's but yeah, they're moving right along. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, new business. Regional Planning Police Resolution. Do you have that? Uh, I do. I emailed it to you guys, I yes. think, last week. The only change in the sewer district, or no lease. Wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> the, uh, oh, the lease agreement between... Commissioners and regional planning. Um, her attorneys reviewed it. Our attorneys reviewed it. Uh, we've agreed to the the three years, uh, no cost, and then year 21 and 22 would do six six thousand. Just to make it clear, the reason for the three years is because regional planning uh, bore the cost of all the renovations to the to the facility or to the, uh, to the place, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then. And then and because of that, then we are going three years rent free. Yeah, and we decided to do a lease um, this year or for this for more stability in regional planning um, because, yes, cost allocations should always get cost allocated. And there could be years it's um, up and down, so we okay. should ask for a lease. So, um, so I can read that with the rest of them. Yeah, that would be fine. That would be fine. Now we talk about the uh, sewer district contract. Yes. Sewer so district contract, uh, the only change is taking it from a one-year contract to a three-year contract. The uh, percentage of fees did not increase. Um, well, I'm not sure where we got to one to three year. I'd like to keep it at uh, one year because um, you know, I'm not sure what happened, what's going to happen with sewer district and whether or not you know, our, our idea here is to is to uh, get to regional planning to the point where they're generating enough income to be more and more self-sufficient as years go on. And I'd like to have the flexibility at least to either reduce or eliminate uh, uh, that uh, sewer district administration. It really isn't a, when we've done that, to, you know, to keep things rolling, but uh, that really isn't a function of regional planning. I don't know what you think about that, Commissioner Thomas? I like the one year. I not anything that's regional type planning. I just no. like the opportunity to control it a little bit. I think more. we need to be a little more agile. So I, I, uh, if we make the change to one year, I think we can get that approved. Okay. That's okay with me. So if you want to change that today and sign, we're good. Okay. Let me find that. Okay. Anything else under those two items? Nope. Okay, well, let's just continue on with due business. And then you have some uh, uh, resolutions and some appropriations. I do. Um, I did have a request from uh, the auditor. I'll let her go to that sure. way if she, she needs to leave. Please. Um, sure. Thank you. And I apologize for the delay in giving the information to to them, but your staff were, was wonderful in accommodating my request. Um, recently, I had the opportunity to hire a uh, appraisal specialist to help expand our duties and to be able to, um, when taxpayers have a question, we can go out in the field immediately and review those issues instead of waiting several weeks to get our contracted uh, people there. So. Uh, with that, I am respectfully requesting an increase from the REA fund of $20,000 for salaries to cover the remainder of the year. So, would this tie into Board of Revisions as well? Yes, okay. yes. This person will be invaluable uh, with the expertise and knowledge to help in our Board of Revision discussion. Okay. And this person is a certified? Appraiser. Appraiser. Uh, okay. And then, so next year, it, it's an ongoing position? Yes. 
Yes. And the goal, don't publish those because my founders don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but, but the goal is to eliminate one of one or two of the contracts that we have that we outsource currently, but to have the person do it in-house. And I'm kind of making a leap here, but in theory, that person could pay for themselves in that if we had the background information uh, from Board of Revisions, for example, to substantiate our values, uh, that that tax, that, that tax revenue could be higher, most probably. Right. I know the opposite could happen too, but uh, a lot of times we're in there not having a real knowledge as to the value of that property based on resale or based on retail. Right. Uh, and this would right. be she more has the skills that she will yeah, be I, able to. Yeah, I like the idea. Expertise. I really do think they could pay for themselves over a period of time. Yeah. So that's all I have. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Is that part of, is that one of our... And I, and I can add that if you guys are okay, but I'll add it at the end of my resolutions. Okay. Let's just go ahead and pour with them. Okay. The rest. Um, my resolution authorizing a fund advance repayment from the Impaired Driver Enforcement Program, the amount of $5,000, paying back to the general fund. I have an appropriation adjustment within the M&R fund, moving 10000 from gasoline to con concrete. I have an appropriation adjustment within the County Sewer District Fund, uh, moving $310 from contract services to the ERS. I have an appropriation adjustment within the DreTAC Prosecutors Fund in the amount of $1,473.30 from contract services to supplies. Um, I have an appropriation adjustment within the Public Assistance Fund. Uh, she's moving some various lines for a total of $85,774.01. And one cent. I have an author, or resolution authorizing a fund advance repayment from the Selective Traffic Enforcement Program Fund in the amount of $4,000. I have a resolution authorizing the purchase of a 2017 Belco Excavator on behalf of the Seneca County Engineer. Um, the total amount of the uh, equipment is $139,899.99. They're getting a trade-in of $71,749.99 off the other. I assume this is through the state program? Yes. Okay. Per, yep. I um, have a resolution authorizing the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation Correction Subsidy Grant Agreement for the Justice Reinvestment and Incentive Funding on behalf of the Common Police Court. And judges are here. I don't know if there's anything you'd like to add. Which one's that, the grant? Yep. Just a matter of accepting the grant that we've applied for yep. to fund completely the Pivot Drug Recovery Court. This is no additional funds from the county, and there'll be no additional employees for the county who will contract with Oriana House, who will hire four to five additional people. So there'll be a job creation situation for Seneca County. Your Honor, I think it's worth uh, discussing, too. I mean, this was passed legislation by the state of Ohio, specifically for Seneca County. Is that true? House Bill 354 is pending in the Senate, but it passed the House 91 to 0 last week. And so we're kind of the beta site for this type of a court system? Pilot project is Pilot the, project. the okay. words they uh, used at Columbus. Wonderful. Well, congratulations to you guys for get, being awarded that grant. Uh, I collaborative have, uh, effort of all judges. Yes, so, uh, to all Judge Rapp, Judge Calvary, yeah. myself. Thank you for doing that. Uh, 310 moved uh, from revenue to PERS. Is that part of Regional planning, or is that? Yes, that's the uh, sewer district. Is that is it proper for us to move from sewer district to PERS? Well, it's it's the same uh, same fund. She's just moving it from contract services to PERS. I'm assuming we didn't budget enough in the PRS line to yes. cover the remaining salary for the year. What I'm saying is, I don't know that it minister. I mean, I, I get that 310 has to go in there. Yeah. But I don't know that it makes sense to move it from. A, a sewer administration fund to PERS. I mean, she has a PERS line, line in the sewer district. There is, line. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So would we refer to this then as a, a 
drug court, a specialized docket? How, how, what, what's the proper vernacular? For it's this? probably a drug program at this time. Okay. We are working on specialization through the Supreme Court of Law. <laughs> okay. That's just a different designation? Well, specialized court, you have to get up and running. You know, okay. so we'll call it a drug recovery program. Gotcha. And then we will seek specialization, but you have to have it up and running. And, it, and right now it's not up and running. Okay. But it, we will be running up and running early next year. Okay. Did, did I also understand that each of the judges are going to spend a couple of days involved in that court or involved in that? We'll all be involved, all three of us, but um, one judge will be primarily in charge of the program for four months, the next judge okay. four months, next judge. But we'll all be actively involved. The drug recovery program we anticipate will be one to two days every week, all day. And uh, it will be time consuming, so we want to split it up among the three trial court judges uh, to assist in that endeavor. Thank you again. Um, I have okay. a resolution Good. authorizing the lease agreement between the Seneca County Board of Commissioners and the Seneca Regional Planning Commission starting effective January 1st, 2018. Perfect. I have a resolution authorizing the Sewer District Billing and Administrative Contract Service Agreement <coughs> between the Regional Planning Commission and the Seneca County Commissioners uh, on behalf of the Seneca County Sanitary Engineer effective January 1st, 2018. This will be for a one year. Uh, and then I have a supplement to the permanent appropriations to the real estate assessment fund. Uh, this is at the auditor's request with the uh, Medicaid workers comp PRS. Uh, total will be $23,640. That's all I have. Okay, well regarding regional planning, I would invite anybody who wishes to go down and take a look. It's basically the old Board of Elections across from Bailiwick, so I'm not sure I'll be more specific, but uh, they've done a nice job with that space. I think we'd be very proud to have potential uh, people from out of, out of town coming in there to check things out and understanding what's going on in regional planning area. It's kind of a new complex now with the Board of Elections and regional planning. Uh, the lobby's kind of changed and uh, it looks very professional and looks very good. So if you have the opportunity, take a look. Do we have the open house schedule? Uh, from my understanding, the open house for regional planning and Board of Elections is supposed to be January 4th. We're just confirming that. Um, Board of Elections is trying to get someone to, oh, or someone they want to attend. Yeah. So we want to make sure that gets on their schedule. And as long as it is, then we will be having an open house for both. It's just an all day. You can come see the space. We'll still be working that day. We're not going to not. So. Okay. Sorry. Uh, any other business? Commission. We need approval for the resolutions and for the, uh, and, uh, and for the appropriation changes. Move that we accept. Second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Stacy. Commissioner Thomas. Yes. Commissioner Kirshner. Yes. Okay, I want to make certain that we are all aware of the community Christmas Day dinner, December 25th at Camden Falls. Falls. Uh, this is sponsored by the NOAA Foundation, a great group of folks. No one will order hungry, especially on Christmas. Uh, it will be starting at 11 uh, and go until 1.30. All are welcome. Doesn't matter income level, doesn't matter status. If you would like Christmas dinner, come, please. Uh, it's time for uh, open session. Do we have any comments from anyone? Anyone like to talk about anything today? Okay, we've got a bit opening at 10.30, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got to wait until then. Any other issues at all? Shane, to fill in five minutes here. I don't have anything today. Okay. Let's see what you spot. We will recess for five minutes. Uh -huh.